And now to return to some serious news this morning, three people wounded in the shooting at Fort Hood, Texas, remain in serious condition at a nearby hospital. We are starting to learn the names of the soldiers who died in Wednesday's attack. The motive is still a mystery. The gunman's family and friends say they had no idea that he was capable of the assault. Anna Werner is at Fort Hood, where Army officials are focusing on the shooter's mental health. Anna, good morning. Good morning. Well, investigators are beginning to piece together what may have led specialist Ivan Lopez to open fire here at Fort Hood, killing three people and injuring 16 others. Specialist Ivan Lopez served four months in Iraq, but never saw direct combat. He self-reported a traumatic brain injury, and in recent months, he had sought treatment for depression, anxiety, and sleep disturbance. Do you feel like you're any closer to understanding why he did these killings? We have uh, very strong evidence that he had a uh, medical history uh, that indicates uh, unstable psychiatric or psychological condition. We believe that to be uh, the fundamental underlying causal factors. While terrorism is not being ruled out, no direct link to any extremist organization has been found. But officials are looking into whether a verbal altercation may have instigated the attack. There's a strong possibility that that, in fact, uh, immediately preceded uh, the shooting. All the victims were military personnel. Authorities have not named the three killed, but friends and relatives of Sergeant Timothy Owens confirmed he is among the dead. Owens' mother told CBS News that her son was trying to calm Lopez down before he was shot five times at close range. Of the 16 injured, all are expected to survive, though at least three are facing critical injuries. Specifically, they have some injuries to the neck. Uh, we have a uh, potential spine injury, and we also have an abdominal injury. For a community that has been hit by two mass shootings in less than five years, the road to recovery will be about more than just physical wounds. Many of them have come back and had combat experience, so you're imagining they're getting into a safe place and seeing family and now having this kind of violence brought about at their, at their home. So the likelihood that somebody would have a difficult emotional response to that is high. Well, there are some heroic stories emerging from this event. The general spoke yesterday of an army chaplain who shielded soldiers with his body and then broke windows to help them escape. Charlie. Anna, thanks.